Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Jarhead, back again for a brand new video. Now, for those of you who want to know how to screen record your Switch, you know, like this good, without a capture card, you know, if you don't have money to buy that or whatever, I'm going to show you how today. It's pretty easy, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so I just showed you what it looked like on the Switch. This is a super easy method, no capture card needed, just a few materials, and you'll be ready. Let's get right to it. So you're going to take your shoebox slash uh, switch box, open it up. Pretty easy so far. And what you're going to want to do next, just take your switch, push it to the back. Somewhere on the back, doesn't really matter. And you can have it, you know, hanging up a little bit so it doesn't fall. And then you take this, in this case, Pokemon Games, to hold it up. You take your first heavy thing. And the reason I'm using this heavy thing is because it pushes this thing up. If you have something else that's heavy holding it up, it won't really matter. But this thing puts it at an angle so it looks weird. And that is not what we want. So, yeah. So after a little bit of fiddling around, I got it into this position. You're going to want to put one of the heavy things back here. So it balances this whole thing out. And then the smaller heavy thing up here. You're going to want to put it on the opposite side of where your camera is. So if my camera's on this side of, well, let's say in this case my phone, I put it over here so we leave a little bit a window for the camera to be. So how does this work? Well, we just put it in, and then I'll show you. It doesn't look good right now. We're going to make it work. Now, if you guys are wondering, how am I supposed to turn my switch on? Well, it's easy. Just take your controller, hold the home button, and the switch comes on. It's pretty easy. Now we've got it on. I'm going to show you how this works. So after you guys did some whatever you wanted to do, this is how mine's going to look. So I'm just going to put it around here, take it around, and I'm going to hold it up against here. Mine's actually zoomed in. If I zoom out, as you can see, now zoom back in. Now you can actually push it closer if you don't want to lose any quality, but that's what it looks like right now. You can turn up the volume by holding the home button and doing whatever. But a way to make it look even better is if you go into a dark room and you turn off the lights and whatever, or you go in just to a dark room, it will, the light won't be as, you know, weird. So it looks a lot better. Not only that, you can tap on your phone and lower the brightness of the camera recording, and it will look a lot better so lights aren't, like, super bright, and it doesn't blind, you know, the camera. So, yeah. So, guys, thanks for watching. It's really that easy. If you didn't like it, I don't know, dislike the video, but if you did like it, Leave a like, leave a comment, I don't know, whatever you want to do. It's been Jarhead, and I'll see you in the next video. Whoosh!